Uh, this is my second All Army. I was here last year and competed. Uh, this is my second year. For me, this is my first year. So we're both on the Ranger Challenge team for Texas A&M's Army ROTC. Um, and so we come out here to practice shooting in order to prep for uh, Sandhurst competition, which is at West Point uh, in April. I'm also part of the Ranger Challenge team. So in preparation for Sandhurst, I'm coming too. This is just my first year doing Ranger Challenge. Uh, so that's why this is my first year at All Army. Uh, I'm older, so okay. I'm, I'm a senior now. So I, I'm two years ahead. So I'm only a sophomore. Uh, we're very competitive with each other, I think, but also very supportive and we um yeah balance each other out really well. yeah i think both times that i've come here i've just really grown as a marksman um yeah just learning the basics what i'm capable of and just watching improvement each year and just realizing how um, complex uh, marksmanship is and it's just really incredible each time so. mm -hmm. yeah honestly same for me it's i didn't have a lot of shooting experience before coming here and then now like we're working with people who are like champions at this so it's amazing and just i'm learning basically everything you can about shooting part of our uh, duties as older members of um, ranger challenge we um, teach the younger ones so each year we have a new more kids and we teach them and um, share knowledge with everybody. Our Ranger Challenge team is really supportive of each other and you know we all want each other to do as best as we can like for the sake of the team and for each other so of course like we'll go back and like she said just to help with each other any way we can. I'm already I'm contracted so I'll be commissioning um, in the May of 2024. Um, yeah, but I definitely want to. It's just, it means a lot to me to serve my country and to, um, uh, yeah, push myself in any way that I can. And it's part of a family legacy, being in the military. So I just want to complete that and continue to, um, yeah, do that for my family. Mm -hmm. I want to give back to my country because there's so many people who have served. Um, and then, like she said, it's a family legacy. From, you know, when we were kids, my dad would be deployed. And then, um, yeah, my mom was a Marine. And so it was just always there. And then my parents really made sure that we always knew that we were capable of anything that we wanted to do. And so it was never any kind of, um, there was nothing stopping us as long as we put our mind to it and put in the hard work. Um, yeah, my mom was one of the first Marine, fe female Marines to do a lot of the stuff. She was very much a, a trailblazer for women in the Marine Corps. I think if you want to do it, you should do it and don't let people hold you back or try to stop you or try to scare you out of doing it because of uh, prior connotations. Uh, whatever their opinions are, even if they don't have the same experience, even if they've never done it before. Um, but if it's your dream, if it's something that you want to do, you should always try for it, always go for it. And then hold yourself to your own standards, not the standards of like other people. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do something, then that's like the fact and just do it. She's a better shot. She is. <laughs>